paint that you put in to your cup, whatever amount it is, you do double it. You do the same amount with the flow troll. Okay. And then you're going to mix. What's the flow troll do? The flow troll gives the consistency and the spreadability. So my wife, the artist, thinks she can make an artist out of me, which I have no artistic abilities at all. And what's this process called we're going to do? This is called acrylic pouring. Acrylic pouring, okay. I guess I can pour. Now, start mixing you around the outside. Okay, now see the consistency? Mm -hmm. It's like sour cream. You want it to be like heavy cream, which means that it'll drip off instead of blobbing off. Mm -hmm. So you add a little bit of water, and then you mix again. small mm -hmm. it's not that big you will need only to use about half a container of paint total mm -hmm. of all your colors mixed okay so what you will be doing is you will pour small amounts of each color into the cup mm -hmm. when you um, up to half of the cup. Up to half the cup. Okay. When you pour the paint into the cup, you don't hold it at the edge and pour like this. You hold it up here and you pour like this. Every time you pour paint into the cup, you put in a squirt of the three in one silicone. Okay. And then, so then, and you don't do two dark colors together. So you'll do, say, red first, mm -hmm. then yellow, mm -hmm. then black, and then blue, and then green, and then you could start over, or, and then white. you got to do white, too. As a okay. matter of fact, I would put white on the bottom. Okay. Here's your white. Three drops of this. And then, Silicone. Then your next color. Okay. Does that need to be in there? No. And hold it up high. All right. Away up high. Why does it have to be up high? Because it's the way it mixes. That's good. Okay. So three drops three of drops. this. Oh, <laughs> you've got about 20. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to come out it, that it, quick. You have to just barely touch it to make it come All out. Right. Oh my word. Okay. Well, we can. Then the yellow. Oh, well, all right. Hold it up high. There you go. That's good. So we probably don't need to put any drops in this time. Yeah, just let me do it, <coughs> Mr. Heavy Handed. If you just tip it, they kind of come out. Up high. Okay. And I think you're right. We'll just leave off this time. We've got so much in there. Okay. Up high. Okay. Okay, then you're black. What can we do with this thing? <laughs> it's a messy, messy game. Okay. So a lot of people will do a little bit of each uh -huh. and then repeat it. A little bit of each again, but you have enough for that painting and more right now. So what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to put another canvas here and when you start pouring drip it onto here okay now there's no doesn't do any harm to let that just sit for a minute so the best thing to do is get the lids back on all the your canvas mm -hmm. and put it on top of your cup okay then you're going to hold your cup and your canvas together mm -hmm. and flip them over all right and set them down without moving your cup Okay, there you go. Towards me. 
Is this towards you? I don't know which yeah. way it goes. <laughs> okay, so I just flip it over. Hang on to it tight. Okay. Now I'll tap on it till the paint all goes down. Okay. And you'll want to put a little bit of white along this end right here. So just open this and pour white right on here. Just a little bit. A little more than that. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, lift your cup. Just straight up? Just straight up. Okay, now pick up your canvas quickly. Pick up your canvas and tilt it all around. Tilt it until it, the paint covers. Tilt it this way now, this way, over here. Tilt it back towards you, don't lose all your red. Now tilt it this way. Tilt it that way. Good, now tilt it back towards your thumb. Okay, now back, okay. Okay. That's it? No, almost, now set it down. Okay. Here, you can set it on this canvas. Okay, then now you're going to do what's called a swipe. You hold this, and I'll get you your spatula. Here's the spatula. Mm -hmm. You're going to go very lightly. You can't press down hard or you'll scrape your paint right off your picture. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go along the surface. You're going to take, I'll demonstrate right here, and then mm -hmm. you'll do it over okay. there. You're going to take your, your white paint and spread it out. Okay, there's none in the over here. Over the other colors. Okay. And we, you're supposed to wipe in between. Hang on. Okay. Now you wipe when you, unless you like what's happening right there, then just. I like that. Okay, just leave <laughs> it then. And I'm going to swipe backwards right here to get more color showing. Oh, I should be doing that. Okay. <laughs> from Don't go to, as far as the canvas, mm -hmm. but take the yellow here. Mm -hmm. No, 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 like this. The tip of it, like this. And go from the yellow off the edge. This that way. way? Yeah. Just like this on uh -huh. an angle? Yep, just pull it off. There, see how it joined that together? Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, that's right. You always wipe in between swipes, but it has to be completely wiped clean. Okay, now you, if you take this corner right here mm -hmm. and see your nice blue, just put the tip of it in that blue and pull it into this the one. white towards you that way. That's pretty. Okay. How about... You can do whatever you want. Okay. That's mostly white, so that's not going to do much of anything. <laughs> Let me work in one of the areas where I was messing around. Well, I need to do it, or else okay. it won't be my painting. Okay, go right here where the red is, just with the tip. Okay. You're going to have to go back this way. So with the tip, see where I did the red right uh -huh. there? Dip down into that and pull that way, but s you're pressing too hard. That's because I'm left-handed. Okay, <laughs> right here. Okay. Now, I don't see much cell action. Ooh, nice. <laughs> So you might try that over here too with the reds. Pull the just with the tip. Do no no like this with the tip, and I would pull it this way mm -hmm. and maybe swirl it towards you or something. Good. 
Okay. Now you take the heat gun and the bottom button is low, so, so you push it low and you hold it way back. See how the cells start popping? Mm -hmm. You probably go a little closer than that. And move it back and forth and round and round. I'd hold it down in here so you can get some more cell action in here. Not too close, you'll cook your painting. Okay, turn it off. It's the middle section is off. And since you like this part better, is this still on? Mm -hmm. Okay, since you like this part better, pick your painting up and tip it that way. Tip it that way, okay. No, I, yeah, yeah, like that. Okay, and then tip, watch what, pull it closer to you so you can see what's going on. Now tip it that way, down towards this corner, like this, tip it like that a little more. Okay, stop. Okay, do you like that better than it was? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think of your painting so far? Pretty good. Okay, you could try the heat again. I noticed that when you did the heat in the yellow, in the yellow, in the brown right in here, mm -hmm. that it made the yellow pop out. But look at this. You've got some real interesting action going here. You might try... Actually, try tipping it this way to see if you can open these. You can open the cells and make them bigger by tipping back and forth. Okay, now tip back towards your hand again. Okay, stop. Okay, gently blow on these cells. No, just with your mouth. Closer. Well, what's it doing? Yet? It is. You're opening up oh. more cells. Okay, try blowing in here. I think it's really cool looking. Mm -hmm. I like this area right in here. If you'd rather have mostly this and not this, you can actually pick it up and just dump most of this off. The only thing I want to fix is where my finger was right there. Okay, dip it in this paint that's right here. Okay, okay. hold Wait, this. I guess it didn't cover over here. Hold on. No, that's okay. Go into this right here. Oh, you're pressing too hard. You just touch it till the paint touches it, not the spatula. Like this. Like that, and let it drip off the edge. Okay. So, and you check all your edges, make sure everything's covered. I guess over here it's not. Okay. Put some green there if you'd like some variety. No, nope, you didn't get any. You have to actually turn it over and scoop up, scoop up some of the yellow and green mix. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now hold this. Okay. Hold this and I'll show, watch your arm. I'll show you one more technique. Here's Larry's masterpiece so far. And it's blowing with a straw. And you have these bright colors here, and you have bright colors that are starting here, but they aren't doing much. Mm -hmm. Watch what happens. Oh, yeah. So you can go to wherever you see bright colors showing, blow very gently. Oh, Since you're sick, I... I've got, <laughs> ooh, you got it on your hand now. Okay, she's got uh, like strep throat, caught it from me, bronchitis, bronchitis whatever, so I don't want to use the straw.
There we go. Okay. Okay, don't mess up your area that you really like. Go into areas. Okay, right in here where the bright colors are. Okay, do more of that so you can broaden the bright colors. There you go. See, down underneath this, there are some real bright colors under there. See? Point it out here more. Blow. Oh, you got cell action there. <laughs> cool. Okay, oh, I, be careful because this is really interesting okay. here. You don't want to mess it up. Try right in here. I don't think there's anything under the white, but we can turn it around. Oh, well, it's okay. And maybe blow here back in that direction. There you go. Here, let's try this right here. Okay, try this and blow from here, blow that blue back into the white. Cool. <laughs> oh, very, very nice. And one more. Let's very kind of gently blow, get close. No, no, not there. Start at the edge where there's not much character and blow it back into the right. White, blow hard. There you go. Wow. That's really neat. You just try to make me feel good. No, this is cool. <laughs> I would do this one again because this is fading right here. Okay, again, and don't go as far. No, in the dark blue. A little more. Up, but pull this one up into the. There you go. Mm hmm. That is really stupendous. Okay. Uh oh, I did it again. You have to be careful when you lay this down not to lay it on anything plastic. Okay. Now, don't get it too close and just go over the areas that are starting to show some cell action and see if you can get more cells to come out. Not too close and don't hold it in one spot for too long. You're too close. It gets really hot. It'll just cook it instead of doing anything. You're getting some more cell action over here. Just go back and forth and back and forth. Go down in here. Okay, let me try. Looks like that's about all we're going to get. Yep. yep. End of the masterpiece. So are you happy with it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now we have to wait for our resin to show up. Then we coat it with resin. That should be here Monday or Tuesday. It came out really, really good. <laughs> with your help. There's one spot <laughs> that I think could look better. This right here, if you start blowing in the yellow and blow it over into the green and blue with your straw. Right here? Yeah, don't hold it too close and don't, don't blow too hard. Right here, right at the edge of the yellow. A little more. More, more, more. See what happens if you blow gently on those, not too close. <laughs> Your idea of gently and my idea of gently is a little different. That's actually better though because it brought some of the darks from here down into here. Mm -hmm. Try doing the same right here but not too close. Okay. 
Okay, try blowing this red one this way. See if you can get it to go. Careful, that's really don't don't destroy this cell right here. Stay away from it. Don't you're gonna destroy your cells. This right here might be a good place to play. Is you've just got straight lines coming this way. Don't hold it too close. I would do this one one more time, bring it up into this thing. And well, probably better quit while I'm ahead. I don't kind of like the way that is. Well, I do. We'll go back. If you want to do it again. shark coming up out of the water. Okay, mission. Okay, the one thing that happened is that these sometimes have a tendency to go back together and all the dark color that you got here is gone. So you have to blow right in the middle of that. No, up, up. Blow a little harder. Wait, wait, just right here. Blow right there and don't move it around. Right on the purple. Hopefully it'll stay there because that's how big it was before, but it disappeared. Mm -hmm. I think I think you you're right about not messing it up. So. Okay, there it is. I'm selling it for ten thousand dollars. If anybody's interested, <laughs> <laughs> I sure like this area right here. Mm -hmm. So look at this. Look how pretty it is, even just in the cup where it's poured out. And then on the table where the paint has gone, it always looks really pretty. Look right here where the colors have mixed mm -hmm. together. Here. So how long does it take to dry? 24 hours. Okay. Right here, blow into that with your straw and see what happens. Oh no, it turned black. <laughs> okay, now one more thing. The you like your painting, you're all satisfied with it, mm -hmm. but it's still moving. The paint is still moving okay. and dripping off the edge. So you have to run this under your edge very gently all the way around. You don't want to knock your painting off, but just go all the way around to catch any drips. Okay, you didn't actually touch it down here. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Tell them where they can find this. Where they can find the it. The 10th, 11th, and 12th. Was that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Of November, we will be in... Lake Elsinore at the Lake Elsinore 500 race. We were actually went to the first one years ago when Steve McQueen was racing in it. So, we, so they're going to have booth. We're going to have a booth there. We will be at the lake bottom... So I think if there's a park right before you get into town, isn't that where it's going mm -hmm. to be? All right. Off of where the, as far as the booths go. Yeah. So so hopefully. Okay, he's real fast. You already made that one. Is this one done? Uh-huh. Well, it's getting there. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. You can see the spots coming uh -huh. through. Yep. 